The Ghana Revenue Authority has impounded some vehicles along the Nsawum stretch of the Accra Kumasi Highway, which did not have proper documentation on goods being transported. My colleague George Quinin, who joined the Debt Management Compliance and Enforcement Unit of the Authority in the exercise, reports the goods were not covered by GRA invoice. The exercise by the Ghana Revenue Authority was aimed at checking tax suppression. Invoices on goods of most vehicles impounded had self-issued invoices rather than the GRA approved VAT invoices. The authority has set a revenue target of 42 billion cities for the year. As at the end of November this year, they managed to accrue some 37 billion cities. And so there's this gap they need to bridge. And so this very exercise is a compliance check to assist revenue mobilization. And some vehicles, when stopped, managed to run away with the goods, but the authority pursues them and bring them aboard. Obviously, it becomes a special case. The authority encourages the public to demand invoices when they buy goods to ensure that these companies you know, account for these taxes. The authority requested the public to demand VAT invoices on goods they procure. We are each other's keeper, so we blame both the consumer and the trader. So if the supplier or trader does not issue you with a VAT invoice, what do you think will happen? Will he declare that? He may not. Now, who has paid that tax? It's you who purchased. You are giving that money as tax to the government for development. But because the VAT invoice was not issued for you, you you've given free bonto, free money to a trader, a taxpayer to take. Okay. So we all have a responsibility to demand VAT invoices when you buy from any shop. Michael Planch, whose vehicle was impounded, took the blame for failing to demand VAT invoice after buying goods for a shop. I actually forgot. They actually gave it to me. But when I took it to the supply unit, after supplying, the guy actually forgot to give it back to me. And frankly speaking, I'm also in a hurry, so I never try to even try to, I mean, get it back from the guy. So that's how come I mean. But I call them, they confirm it's on their desk. So I'm just waiting, uh, I'm just waiting for it. Kwame Nsia bolted when the authorities stopped him to check his document, but was pursued and brought to the checkpoint. I was so focused that I failed to realize I was the one the tax force was stopping.